If you have some open vectors that you can't seem to close, here's how you can fix it. First, you want to right click on your screen, come down to selection, click select all open vectors. That'll select any open vectors that is visible in your design. And at the bottom of your screen where it says the letter S and then the number afterwards, that is how many open vectors is selected. So right now it says selected is two. So that means we have two open vectors in our design. So to join these together, normally you would go to your join tool. And a quick way to get to that is the letter J on your keyboard. That is the shortcut to get to the join tool. And in here you can see we have zero closed vectors selected and two open vectors selected. But you can see if we come down here to click the join button, it is grayed out because the two ends of the open vectors are not touching. So it will not allow us to join those together. So now we have to investigate a little bit further to see why it's not letting us close this vector. So we're going to select these vectors and we're going to type in the letter N on our keyboard. That's our shortcut to go to the node editing. And when you're in the node edit mode, a quick way to find where the problem areas may be is find the green point which is this point right here, that is going to be the start point of the line. So wherever the green point is, is usually where your problem is near. So when we find that green point, if you click on that and move it, you can see we have an overlap there. There is an extra line right here. So once we move that one there that we needed to keep, we're going to do Control Z to move that one back. Let's try just moving the green point. We'll select just that green point and move. And you can see there's the extra line there. And let's move the next point to see if we have another overlap here. So let's move this point. And you can see that was a single line there. So only this line right here is extra. So we have to get rid of that line, but keep the last line we just moved. So I'm going to do Control Z to undo that last move. And then this line we do not need. So I'm going to right click on this green point right here and I'm going to click delete point. That's going to get rid of that and now the start point is moved down to here. And now if we exit our node editing by typing the letter N again and now with this selected you can see now our join option is available. So now when we click join that will now join that vector closed and now we have one more open vector in our design so we're going to right click in the open space click selection and click select all open vectors and you can see this is the only one left and our join button is still grayed out so we're going to go to our node editing by typing the letter N and now we're going to find the green point again which is up here and you can see if we move this point you can see that's an overlapped line on the other line so let's come down to the next point which is down here we'll move this and there we go we have another overlap there so let's move the next point and there's another overlap. So basically you just want to keep following this along until you have no more overlap. And the next point is right here. We'll move this one and you can see, okay, that's the line we want to keep. So I'm going to undo that, control Z to move that back. This point over here is where that line stops in the overlap. So I want to move that back. So control Z to move that back. This is where overlap stops. So we're going to go back to the previous nodes that we moved and we're going to right click on these and delete. The shortcut as well is to hover over that point and type the letter D. That'll delete the node as well. And then that last one up here, we're going to delete that one. Delete. And now our start point has moved down to here. And if we move that, you can see we no longer have an overlap here. So I'm going to do Control Z to move that back. I'm going to escape our node editing by typing the letter N. I'm going to select our line. And this one actually automatically closed, so we're good there. Sometimes they will automatically close like that when you connect the endpoints together. So now I'm going to click Close. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to right click, go down to Selection. Select all open vectors. And now you can see we no longer have any open vectors. 
So that's a technique you can use to close open vectors that have some extra overlap lines to them.